I'm going to show you this extension which allows you to find a group of words or pictures and they will then disappear and you can have reward objects appearing if the right groups have been found. This extension has been developed by Sandbox Education, a group from Spain, but is based on the original Scape extension called Truin. So this is kind of a, an adaptation of it. So I'll show you what it does. So here we've got uh, lots of animals and we need to find them by group. And it doesn't matter which group I'm going to start with. It will work in any order as long as I stick to the group once I've started. So for example, I can start with the um, parrots. So if I click all the parrots here, or all the birds, then as soon as I've done all the ones in the group, they disappear. So I can tell that I've got it right. Then let's do reptiles, just those two. Then we're doing fish. They go and then I've got the mammals left over and now I get this element here as my reward as well as this element over here which means I can get to the next page. It works with pictures but it also works with words as you can see here. So for example if I do all the verbs then they disappear as well. If I do something wrong so let's start I uh, let's say I start with a noun and then go to an adjective then I get this element but just for a short time to show me that I've got it wrong. Okay so now I'm going to show you how you can use the template to make your own game. So it looks a bit complicated at first maybe with this code at the top but actually this is really easy. So what we need are the four boxes down here and I've already prepared a little game here so I'm going to put them on here. So the yellow box uh, just goes in a corner somewhere so this contains the code. It can have sometimes red writing on it, which shows you when you haven't grouped things, for example, properly, um, but at the moment it's okay. So then the correct button, obviously, will be grouped with the item that appears when your answer is correct, when all the answers have been answered correctly. The red is the incorrect, so this will always just appear for a few seconds and then disappear again automatically. And the black one I shouldn't really have on this page, but it should be on my title page somewhere because this button resets everything to the beginning um, when the player comes past the page. So ideally put it on your title page, it will be invisible. But then also remember that when you're playtesting your game, you need to start from that page where it's reset. Otherwise your computer will remember what you've already solved. Okay, and then we need this code at the top, which is the important bit. So we need to go to insert, go to other, and then paste it in there. And the word label, we need to replace with something else. So in my case, I want to have two groups, one green, one red. So I'm calling my first group green insert and this is really just for you to show you uh, what to group with this so the players won't be able to see it so I want one of them for my frog and then I insert another one for the leaf so you can see it's quite a big box there with a small word but I can make this a bit smaller there we go and then my other group I'm going to label red and insert two of those I could just have one red item or could have 10 red items the groups don't need to be of equal size and obviously I could now also have a yellow group a blue group and so on and just keep on changing the label so it knows what goes together okay let's see if this works so if I click the tomato and then the leaf so that's wrong so it shows me the thumbs down but if I do these two together um, it accepts it and if I do these two together then I get the thumbs up okay the problem was here with the tomato uh, with the strawberry because the box is quite big it will accept it if I click over here so you can see it changes the cursor so really you want this size of the box to be the same size as your picture ideally so don't make it too big then um, it, especially if they're laying on top of each other, it might lead to confusion. So always resize this box here to fit your picture. And the writing can be on top of the picture. It doesn't really matter because it will be invisible anyway.